Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. I pray God has richly been blessing you, and I know He has if you're truly a child of God. He promises to never leave us, never forsake us, to always have what we have or, or give us what we're in need of. And I want to share a little bit of word, the word of God today that talks about how we are forever in His mind, on His mind and in His memory. He never, ever will forget us. And if you look in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 16, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 16, listen to what he says. See, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. God is telling Isaiah there to tell the people that you are always in my mind. You are always in my sight. He said, I have even put you in the palm of my hand. And, and uh, he, like he's wrote on his palm that he loves us and that we are his children and that he has promised to always be with us. And if you back up one verse in that same chapter of Isaiah 49 to Isaiah uh, on uh, verse 15, he says, can a woman forget her nursing child and have not compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget then he says, yet I will not forget you. He said a mother that has a baby that comes from her womb, she might forget that child. But he says, I will never forget you. God always has his eyes upon us. His ears are always open to our cries. He sees us. His eyes watch us, his ears listening for our prayers. His heart longs to give us that that we have need of. Then if you go back, let me get back over here to Psalms chapter 27, verse 10. That says, when my father and my mother forsake me, the psalmist wrote, the Lord will take care of me. Folks, over and over and there's many other scriptures in the word of god today that tells us jesus said i will never leave you i will never forsake you i will go with you all the way to the end of the earth jesus christ will never quit paying attention to his children he will never forget us we have that promise in his word yes there's going to be times when we may feel alone there will be times we we'll feel like god has left us. There's going to be times when we can't seem to feel him. But you know what? We have his promise. Folks, his word is true. And when Jesus says, you're on the palm of my hand, it's ever before me. The mother may forget her child that she gave birth to, but I'll never forget you. Folks, today we serve an awesome God. And I thank him so much that he says, I will never, ever forget you. There's so many promises in his word that he gives to us that he will never break that promise. He will always fulfill those promises. And I like where he says, uh, I know what you have need of before you even begin to pray. And he says, my God shall supply all your riches, all your needs through his riches and glory. There's promise after promise after promise that he will take care of his own. Folks, we're in the family of God. We are in the family of God. And as his children, it is his desire to take care of us. Don't listen to the enemy when they'll tell you, God will forget you. God don't love you like he says he does. Folks, God has a love that is unexplainable. He's got a love that we cannot comprehend. That's how much our God loves us. That's how much he cares for us. So those days when you feel like you're all alone, you feel like he's nowhere Within a thousand miles of you, he is standing right there. Stand in faith that God our Father has our best interest at heart. He has everything going for us and he has everything to give to us because he loves his children. And he loves you today and so do I. May God richly bless you. Lord, thank you today for being a God that cares, a God that listens to our cries a God that's eyes are always on us, a God that's always fulfilling that that we need, God that's always answering our prayers, 
that God has made promises of a home and glory one day with him. And from here to there, you will walk every step of the way with us. God, what an awesome God you are today. And my heart lifts up to you with praise and gratitude and thanksgiving. Bless your people today, Lord, I pray. And may we in turn share you with someone today that needs to hear about you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Folks, I love you today. May God richly bless you as my prayers, and I'll talk to you later.